Welcome back to 1700. I'm here with Cash Savage. Um, so you kind of make rock, blues and country music. Yep. Can you tell us a bit about kind of how you create your own vibe and what makes you individual, an individual kind of, you know, artist? Um, wow. Okay. Uh, I, um, what, I think what makes me individual is that we don't rehearse in the band very often and it's all very... Uh, uh, very free. I'm not very controlling of the band other than sort of do what they want. And, uh, you know, like when the band started, we were only three people and we're now six. We've blown out to ten at some times. Uh, we were sort of like, we've got at this stage, we've got a couple of drummers. We only ever had one on stage, but we have a couple of drummers that who can fill in for us. So we have a couple of different musicians who come depending on, on the night and the day. Uh, but uh, But even then, we just sort of don't rehearse. And so... The songs I try to keep them, um, you know, real to me. Uh, but the guys that I, I work with, they do do uh, a lot of the hard. Well, I guess you know that they might have it hard because I throw stuff on on stage that they're not really up to, but like not, they don't know about. But they're you know they're very capable musicians, so they always we always sort of pull through. So you call yourself maybe like a spontaneous act? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I mean. There's songs that we've been doing for a few years, and I guess if you probably heard them a couple of years ago and heard them now, it'd be, um, it'd be the same, you know, or similar enough that you'd be like, that's definitely that song. Uh, and if you heard our album and came along, we, I mean, we never play the same the song the same twice, and uh, things are always sort of evolving. Like if I listen back to our first album, it's uh, the songs to me sound quite different. I think maybe to everyone else, they're probably not that different, but to me, I'm like, oh, wow, we haven't played it like that for a very long time. Now it sort of sounds like, you know, the drums do something different or, or um, you know, because we've had a couple of different bass players, the bass could be quite different, but, you know, but generally the song's the sort of, it's the same song, but it just is slightly different each time. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. Would you say, like, you have a following in your kind of audience or is it different people? Like, how's the fan base? Oh, our fan base are awesome. I mean, Melbourne is uh, our hometown, so uh, we have, uh, we get, you know, this, our strongest crowds are in Melbourne, um, but we've also done the most amount of gigs in Melbourne. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot of people uh, who uh, come to a lot of the shows. Have you got, like, a favourite venue? Um, well, look, I love the old bar in Fitzroy. That's where I drink. And uh, that's where I see most of the music that I see. I, I hang out there um, as much as I can. Uh, for playing, I don't know, we, we are very lucky now to be in a position where we can sort of try a lot of the venues. So we've, we've just been in the, you know, over the last couple of years just playing different venues. All of our shows over the last little while have been selling out, which means that when you go to a venue and say, can we play there, they're pretty happy to have you. So That's a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, we, you know, we don't really have, uh, you know, I, my favorite venue to, to, to be in is the old bar, but, um, we don't, we don't have a venue that we play at the most these days. So you're playing at like Ormi, you're playing for Ormi, um, Max Watts tonight? Yeah, yeah. Max yeah. Watts, yeah. Is that, have you played there before or? Uh, no, I haven't played there before. Are you I'm, excited to play in like new venues? Oh yeah, I'm really excited. I actually went down there last night to, um re-familiarise with myself with the venue and also because I wanted to see the bands there last night. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a good venue. I've been in that venue. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you, you've also done – went to Europe this year. Yep. And you went over six towns and 11 show tour. Like, uh, like where do you begin with that if you're going to explain it to someone, how it went? Uh, it went really well. When We had no idea that people actually knew who we were over there and we played – really quite big shows um that we had we just thought we would have been happy if just a few people had shown up and knew who we were but the places were packed and people knew our songs which was uh, very humbling when someone knows the words to your songs and it's their second language um uh you know and uh so we went to six countries and uh we were yeah you know there's lots of kilometers and uh you know uh, lots of really good times but uh yeah all of the shows except for one were really good one of them it was really funny all of them were like packed and then one show there was 
just like a handful of people there. What, I don't, where I don't was know that? What country? It was in Krakow. In Krakow. Um, it was okay because we still had a really good time and we sold almost everybody in the audience bought a CD. It was really funny. I don't know whether they did that out of pity or what happened there, but um, they, uh, yeah, but all the rest of the shows were just packed. So, yeah, it was very surprising. And you have like a third studio album coming out next year, releasing? Uh, yeah. So, when we were in Prague, we recorded a little bit. Um, we just released a song after that. Um, out of that recording and then uh, we'll be recording more in January to finish the album. Is that got like, will that have like different themes? Is like how, how, how do you go about making the lyrics in your songs? And uh, Well, I just write what I feel like writing. So, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, there are a few different themes in there because there's been a few different things that have happened to me over the last year or so that I'm writing about. But, you know... I, um, I, I always write what's real to me. So I write, I try to write my stories. Very honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so rather than just write songs, you know, if I'm in love, I'll write love songs. If I'm not, then I'll write the songs that you write when you're not, you know. So it's, that's, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I do it. There's no, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really subscribe to people saying one way or the other how they write songs because I don't really feel like I've got one particular way I don't think many people have a I think there's a very there's very very talented people out there who can sit down and just write a song and do it the same every time but I, I am certainly not one of those no people. it's it's good you have your own independent style well mm. Um, thanks for coming in today no, no problem. Um, and thanks for doing this interview no and problem. I hope you have a rest of a Good day. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks very much. Nice.